Hi friends, welcome to JavaFirst.com. Today we are going to discuss about a paper called Dual Server Public Key Encryption with a Keyword Search for a Security Cloud Storage. Here, the security of the cloud storage here. So, if you are storing your large number of data over a cloud storage, how are you going to secure the data? We even we can able to we can't able to trust on the cloud storage. So, let's see how they are going to solve the issues and how they are going to se secure your data over a cloud storage. So, as the cloud storage outsourcing has become more popular nowadays for the application in organization to reduce the burden of the maintenance over large data we cannot able to even trust on the cloud storage server to overcome these users how you going to secure your data by doing a dual server public key encryption while searching a keyword so based on these applications while searching any data over a key cloud storage so before searching or before storing a data over a cloud storage we are doing a encryption a encryption with the rsa algorithm and we are storing a our data over a cloud storage so here one more point we are doing a hashing technique here so while doing a keyword search we are doing while doing a keyword search we are doing a hashing techniques for more securing secure of your search engine so while sending your data while searching a data over a cloud storage we have to send a keyword keyword it means uh, take an example if you are searching any a restaurant nearby your location so i am going to type a restaurant as my keyword so while passing to the cloud storage it will before sending as a keyword it will do the hashing technique it, it means a uh, 16 byte of character it will generate again uh, for more security i am doing a double hashing technique here and that double hashing it will provide a more security and it will search with the cloud storage it will pass the keyword to the cloud storage and that will be compared with the keyword search already which is in asked double asked and stored in a database that both will match and it will retrieve all the restaurant and that will be decrypted and it will send to the users details so let's see based on this uh, paper we have implemented an application that is a web application let's see how it works okay so to create an app web application we need a software like IDE it means Eclipse we can uh, code your entire application over a Java and we need a database that is a MySQL and we are developing this application based on a MVC architecture that is it means a model view controller so here uh, front end will be the JSP and the middle tab will be the servlet it means a controller and the back end will be the MySQL server so so here I'm using a servers that is a Apache Tomcat and here I'm using a cloud called private cloud I'm using so it means whatever we are doing that will be stored in my system cloud that means a private cloud within a company within a organization for more security here we'll start our server for running our application so before running your application you should start your servers so now it's going to start initializing so server is started so then go to your browser just type localhost 8080 then tomcat manager you are getting so it will list out all your projects which are running on the server side so my project name is dual server system dual server administration here yeah oh no one more
yes here <coughs> okay dual server public key encryption with the keyword search for a secure cloud storage so you'll be having a two actors one is admin and a users user going to search for a keyword and admin going to feed all these data over a cloud storage so how you going to s how admin going to store and secure this data over a cloud storage let's see how so to run this application admin has to enter his user id and a password to get a login yeah so here login location and con content it means a keyword and a posting and a keyword that is my key that is a private key and a public key so how are you going to secure over a dual server using a public key so change password and a logout option so let's see how the content here so here if you if you want to add any keyword just like uh, I'll take So let's see. I'll take an mall. Okay, malls. So I'm going to add the malls. The content means here. The content will be added successfully. That means it was small here. This mall will be updated in the cloud while hosting your data. So these things, it will be double asked. It means. So I'll show you here. So here, my data, my data is malls. The content again, it will generated as a hash code, and this will be double digested one more time, two times. In I'm hashing. It means based on the content, it will generate a sixteen-digit character hashing techniques using a hashing techniques. So based on these things, I have a malls as you are in my location. It means I have taken a Jainagar. So in Jainagar, third block, so you have to select the location. So here in the GUI Google Map, you can select your location. So once you have selected your location, so I'll take uh, Jainagar location. So let's take an example, Jainagar location. So the latitude, longitude, ultimately it will take from the Google Map. So this location I'm adding here. Okay. So now posting. So in the posting, my data. It means Gopalan mall it's near mall is a keyword search for me here and the lib which is in Jainaga third block so all varieties variety you can give anything here variety all kinds of cloth cloths are available that's you can give anything here Here. description discount will be 30% now based on this keyword this will be encrypted and it will go and store it in the private cloud so for this data I am doing I am doing a private key and a cloud private key and a public key here so based on that post data i'm doing a private key and a public key so by doing these keys users can download the data by decrypting a keyword so let's see how the user going to assume uh, in jainaga third doc some user is searching for user have a roots writes to add search for a query and the change password so here the keyword how much assume uh, one user assume I'll, I'm in Jainaga 
I'm searching for a malls or it may be the ATMs nearby my location. So that's my keyword. So I'll take around file limited here the KNN means K nearest nearest search. It means it will provide a security on my private privacy also and it will hide the user's location details. So here keyword search is my I assume I am searching for an ATM. So I'll click on this ATM now while searching in a cloud it will do the hashing it means a double hashing it will do and it will go to the cloud and it will search it will search it will compare with the existing ATM hash code if, if the both is matching it will list out all the posted details and it will check the nearest ATMs to me and it will list out on first on the from the top list so I am assume I am in Jainagar it will list out all the things and from my location it will extend a hundred kilometer distance so that nobody can estimate my location so here it will also provide a Jainagar third block it means it's extending its retribution level for a hundred kilometer it may be the you can make you can even you can make a 200 kilometer so that nobody can hide and estimate your private data so while these things it will come directly from the cloud by decrypting this data and it will display over the user application so by doing these things we can do the security over your keyword search over a cloud storage thank you friends